going to put the feet onto the ball. Legs are straight, so we're going to press the hips into the ceiling. Good. And then we're going to start bending the knees in and out. Yes. All right. So we're working the hamstrings. The core is staying tight, helping you balance. We're going to do 10 of each move. So in and out. Good. Keep breathing here. Four more. Good. Feeling the hamstrings. This is two. And one, stay in there. Next move is up and down. So you're going to press the hips straight up and down, trying to keep the ball right where it is. So you have to stay balanced. The exercise ball is always really good because it tricks the body into working all different stabilizer muscles. So it's a good thing to change up your routine. Good. Four more. Squeezing, feeling it more in the glutes here and the hamstrings. Good. This is two. And one. All right. So come on up. Next move is a push-up, so you can come to the other side of the ball and roll yourself all the way out, slowly. So, here, this is an easier way to do it. You can always keep the ball right under your thighs, or to make it a little harder where she is, under the knees and under the shin. So what we're going to do is push up, down and up. Good, so you have to stay balanced. The ball wants to move around, so you have to keep your core extra tight. Good, inhale and exhale. Push-ups are really great for the upper body. Pushing through the palms. Good. Staying balanced. Four more. Good. This is two. And one. All right. So walk out just a little bit more. The next move is an ab tuck. So what we're going to do is bring the knees into the chest and straight out. Good. Tight in and bring it out. So working the shoulders also, but the main muscle in the abs. So keep going, stay balanced. Inhale and exhale. Good. Keep going, come on. Yes. This is a full body move. All the way in. Three more. In and out. Good. Two. And last one. Good job. All right, come on down. So, a little bit more abs. So laying on the mat. We're going to put the ball in between your legs. Hands are going to come behind the head. <clears throat> Knees are starting to bend. So what we're going to do is crunch up as you extend the legs straight and then come back down. Good. So crunch up and extend back down. So here, we're squeezing the ball together in between the feet so you feel your inner thighs working a lot. Also the core when you're crunching. You're feeling your quads when you extend the legs straight. Good. Exhale and inhale. Keep going. Come on. Four more. All the way up and down. Good. This is two. And last one. Good. Perfect. So scoot down a little more so you have room. Ball transfer. So we're going to start with your hands. What we're going to do is legs are straight. Both the arms and the legs come up and we transfer the ball to the feet and then lower down, and then same thing, transfer the ball to the hands. That's one. Good. So, to make this easier, you can always bend your legs a little bit while you're doing it to make it, you know, easier, and your back's not arching up. So the main thing here also is to really try to keep your core tight the whole time so your back's staying flat and the core is working the whole time. Keep going. Come on. This is a hard one. Good. All the way down. Bring it back up. We're breathing. Five more like this. And bring it back up to the hands. Good. Yes. Paul is very good at these, but normally these look a lot more difficult, but she makes them look easy. Good. This is two. Bring it down. And last one to the hands. And then to the feet. All right. Good. So. What you're going to do is each one of these moves two more times, so that's a total of three sets and ten exercise moves each time, and you're done. Good job.